They came during the October of the world, riding the twilight, to ensure that men would not forget. The Travels of Abraham Polk The boy was waiting in the garden when Silas got home. He's back, he whispered, and held out an envelope. The boy was one of two who had been employed to take care of Carrick's villa during his absence. Silas was surprised. He had expected Carrick ending to return with horns playing and drums beating, or not at all. The envelope was sealed with wax. How is he? Not well, I think. Silas tried to remember the boy's name. Cam? Kim? Something like that. He shrugged, opened the envelope, and removed a single sheet of folded paper. Silas, I need to see you. Tell no one. Please come at once. Carrick. The expedition had been gone almost nine months. He stared at the note, produced a coin, and held it out. Tell him I'm on my way. The sun was moving toward the horizon, and the last few nights had been cold. He hurried inside, washed up, put on a fresh shirt, and took a light jacket from the closet. Then he burst from the house, moving as quickly as dignity and his fifty years would permit.